huge dam building projects across the Amazon basin are threatening countless unique animals and plants with extinction. Scientists have warned that the dams could result in massive changes in the ecosystems in the rivers and surrounding forests. There have already been 191 dams built by nine countries that span the Amazonian basin and there are further 243 in development. Professor Carols Perez, an environmental scientist at the University of East Anglia in Norwich, and his colleagues have examined the impact these may have on the wildlife there. They say fish, freshwater turtles, frogs, bats, birds, primates, rodents and marsupials, many of which are protected from hunting by law, could be hit by the landscape changes. Dams on the Amazon River and adjacent Tocantins River will flood huge areas of forest while also preventing aquatic wildlife from moving upstream and downstream. Professor Perez said, the rivers that run across these tropical forest landscapes are home to many endemic species, species that are found nowhere else. Some of them are restricted to isolated sections of rapids only a few tens of kilometers in length. Our research shows that an expansion of the dam network will result in huge changes to these Amazonian rivers by abstracting movement of aquatic fauna both upstream and downstream, by submerging rapids under huge lakes, by flooding adjacent forests and by creating forest islands that cannot sustain viable animal and plant populations. These changes to the habitat will also be followed by indirect effects on the region's fauna and flora because the influx of people and money attracted by cheap hydropower are expected to result in higher deforestation rates in the areas affected by dams. Dam building in the Amazon basin is largely driven by rising populations resulting in increasing electricity demands. The Amazon basin accounts for 18% of the world's river discharge making it an attractive prospect for tapping for hydroelectric power. It already accounts for 6% of global hydropower production, but with new mega dams being constructed in the area this is ST to rise. Venezuela boasts one of the largest dams the Curry Dam, which has an electricity producing capacity of 10,325 megawatts. Behind its four and a half mile long concrete wall there is a lake that covers 1,641 square miles making it the largest freshwater body in Venezuela. Brazil is currently constructing an enormous 11,233-megawatt hydroelectric dam on the Jingu River. When complete, the Belamonte Dam will create a 42-square-mile reservoir. Dr. Alexander Lees, an ecologist at the Cornell Lab of Ornithology in New York and lead author of the new study, published in the journal Biodiversity and Conservation, said, the change from fast flow into still waters after river impoundment likely favors generalist or invasive species over the specialist and often microendemic species that require fast flowing rivers and exposed rocky islets. This loss, degradation and fragmentation of habitats will eventually lead to a large loss of regional biodiversity and a simplification of the community of species. The researchers found many rare and unique species live in the catchment areas that will be affected by the dams. Those living downstream could see their habitats changed almost as dramatically as those upstream where land will be flooded. The big bend of the Jingu River is known to have many unique and rare species but it will be left with 20% of its natural flow following the construction of the Belamonte Dams in Brazil a species of fish related to the zebra plico, which are popular ornamental fish, was recently discovered in the Jingu River. Zebra plico are already considered to be vulnerable and some species are listed as critically endangered. Species like great dusky swifts which roost behind waterfalls in the Cachorras do Curua on the Serra do Cachimbo in southern Pira. Globally important colonies of white-collared swifts could also be impacted while bats like the Nyctinomops could also be harmed. The researchers warn populations of river dolphins that inhabit the watercourses in the Amazon basin are among the most threatened by the dam building. Just two years ago, a new species of river dolphin was discovered in the Araguaia River in southeastern Brazilian Amazonia. The researchers also warned there could be indirect damage caused by the construction of the dams as a surrounding forest is cut down to make way for roads and for building materials. Even terrestrial wildlife and woody plants in forest areas well above the water level of hydroelectric reservoirs are not safe, said Professor Perez. These populations typically become stranded in artificial archipelagos whose biodiversity is committed to extinctions and rapidly eroded over time through the ravages of habitat isolation and edge effects. 
Dr. Philip Fernside of Brazil's National Institute for Research in Amazonia, INPA, added, The planned dams are not an inevitable part of Brazil's future development because they are not necessary. Brazil has many better options, including investing in energy efficiency, ceasing to export electricity in the form of aluminium and other electro-intensive commodities, and tapping the country's vast potential wind and solar resources. T. The severe impacts of Amazonian dams make pursuing other options very much in Brazil's best interest.